The first thing we're going to do to set up a Microsoft Imagine account for Azure is make sure that we have a personal Microsoft Live account. So do a quick search. This cannot be your school college account. First result set shows you your login. If you do not have a current Live account, go ahead and create one. Next, do a search for Azure Portal. Very first one after the ads. Go ahead and log in with that live account and look at a couple different things. First, go to your key subscriptions and you'll see that you shouldn't have any, any current subscriptions. You can also go to database and if you try to create one, you'll see that you're not allowed to create one. It's actually you need to sign up for a new subscription. You do not want to do that because we don't want to have to give them the credit card, at least not for the course. Next, we want to go to the sign up for Microsoft Imagine. So just type in sign up for Microsoft Imagine. This is the old DreamSpark. The very first thing in your result set should be at the time of this recording, Microsoft Imagine create a Microsoft Imagine profile. And type in your live account. Okay, this is an example of two different accounts, same exact account name. This is actually my son's school account, which won't work. So what we have to do, and you may run into that same problem depending on your account name. This is how mine is configured as well. So let's go ahead and log in. And I'm going to use, that's my son's school account. I'm going to use another account. Select personal account. The portal. And now if you go down to subscriptions, you actually see his DreamSpark account is active. You will also then be able to create SQLs applications and web apps applications. Those are the only two things allowed under the DreamSpark license.